no matter who you are, regardless of the position you occupy in the society and the religion you practice in our world of today, if you do not respect other people's beliefs, way of life, culture, as well as opinions, which might be totally different from yours, then I'm afraid to say this, that you are not qualified to be called a complete man. And this summarizes the childish character displayed by the ex-Obama advisor who was captured on camera saying nasty things about someone else's religion and almost inciting a religious violence in America which could possibly spread across the globe. Kindly watch the video. I'm working now, okay? Can you leave please? The videos are hard to watch. If we killed 4,000 Palestinian kids, you know what? It wasn't enough. On multiple occasions, Stuart Seldowitz, a former national security advisor for President Obama, berates a street vendor in Manhattan. But you're a terrorist. You support terrorism. I'm not some bo you bo I'm just working here. Hurling Islamophobic insults. Did you rape your daughter like Mohammed? Well, speak English. That just shows how ignorant you are. Seldowitz also questions the vendor's immigration status. Do you have it? American citizen? Yeah, do you have it? Now how? How did you become an American citizen? At one point, taunting him by taking his picture. <laughs> the 64-year-old is facing multiple charges, including stalking as a hate crime and harassment, according to the NYPD. A different vendor from the truck speaking out. We want to feel safe in this community. We don't want anybody bother us. The incident is the latest example of a surge in Islamophobia since the war between Israel and Hamas began, according to the Council on American-Islamic Relations. The Anti-Defamation League reports a more than 300 percent increase in anti-Semitic incidents as well. In an interview with NBC New York, Seldowitz claimed the vendor supported Hamas. And that's what got me upset. While also admitting some of his reactions went too far. The comments that went beyond him and could be interpreted as attacks on Muslims and, and Arab Americans and so on were probably not appropriate. He may now have to defend himself in front of a jury. Good day, everyone. You're most welcome today to the Cetra's Luck family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say thank you to everyone liking, sharing, commenting. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Press the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we upload our latest videos. I remain Jacket Solo and etc. And I'll always have with me my friend Yots B. Good day everyone, this is Dasta the most handsome young people African initials, Arnele Pompey, a fizzy pound husband. And as usual, I'm here with my scintillating pepperoni sugar initials, Art Baby Get. Okay, okay. <laughs> the most painful thing about this uh, mediocre kind of attitude of this, uh, what I call him a young man or what have you, is that it can lead to light scale violence, it can even jeopardize the lives of innocent citizens across the globe that might not even know anything about what someone has done on the streets of America. I think what is causing all this violence we are seeing across the globe is the ineptitude of some persons in key positions in the world. Because if you actually qualify to be a man, like I said in my introduction, you will appreciate, you will value, you will respect other people's opinion. That is who, that is what makes them human. And that's what makes you a complete person. So if you actually value other people for who they are, you wouldn't be there, you wouldn't be making derogatory statements about whatever they practice or whatever they believe in. And if your religion is actually good, that religion shouldn't incite uh, killings or violence. hateful work or, or violence. Anyone that does that, that means you don't really know the religion you're professing to claim. Whatever religion, we are not in for any religion now. As in, if you know us on this channel, we believe so much in love, in smiles, in giving joy. It's that one of our culture is bringing joys from Africa. So if you want to bring joy, we discuss it. We've had so many discussions along this line on our channel. And on our channel, anyone is welcome. If you practice African religion, if you practice Judaism, you practice 
uh, Islam. Um, you practice Christianity. You practice uh, Buddhism. Whatever you if practice. If you like, if, and if, atheist, if you like, let it be that you are worshiping to speak. We don't bloody care. The main thing about life is respecting the opinion, the belief system, the lifestyle, the manner, the culture, the way of presentation, the dress code, anything about others. Because actually, in real life. Variety is the spice of life. Whenever you see anybody trying to cajole you to make sure that you believe forcefully in what they believe in, then please note that you are on the wrong side of life. Wake up. This is, the, this is not the, the ancient myopic century in which people are forced into what they do not actually want to believe in. What they don't love. Yeah. What they don't love. Love. Life, it's all about love. Where do you find fulfillment? What gives you joy? Because joy, you, for you to be alive, what causes death is what? Depression. Most cases. Okay, let me say this scenario. There was this girl. Uh, she was... Uh, spoken to in a very derogatory manner and she was depressed highly depressed and somebody saw her say why is she depressed why is it do you know the next thing this girl was found eating her head on the wall yeah as she was eating her head on the wall blood started coming out from her nose and that was the end of that girl so what killed that girl somebody else's mouth the derogatory statement and it's not until you use a gun to kill someone that is it that is why we all have to watch what we say, how we say what we say, the people we talk to, because you might be walking free on the road, not knowing that you have killed Shoot. a lot of people with potentials, just because you decide there to be so selfish about yourself, self-centered, not minding how the other person feels. feels. And that is, uh, well, you're making this plea to those uh, children and women that have been affected in Palestine and from his talk, he's been saying even if they kill so, 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 so. No, we don't have to kill to do this. And You, you know, you're so that is even one of the most dullest statements to be made by anyone. We are talking about is it 4,000 children? 4,000. This, uh, no, 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 no. I want to believe that uh, one, that guy should be taken to a psychiatric hospital to examine his brain because I don't believe he represents large numbers of Americans. And, and, uh, and for him to utter such statements, I think is very, very in inhuman. And to now look at it that this statement is not just coming from so, uh, from a street urchin. It's coming from someone that has held high rank portfolios. Even to the extent that he, he, he was supposed to um, work at, uh, in a department that is in charge of uh, liaising between the, uh, the, the, the Palestine and the Israeli. One would have thought that he should know better. So, the more reason why you guys, maybe you should bring him to, uh, to Africa. Let us use African apps to examine his brain. He might be having what we call a situation of holy back by the morning. <laughs> yes. Okay. And he might need some African concussion to correct it. Maybe they don't have such injection over there. Okay. Because it is, it is... Especially at this time that the two nations are going through a whole lot. And our heart cry goes to everyone on both sides. And this and, is and this is a call to the fact that mm -hmm. this is not even necessary. Mm -hmm. If we care for each other, there is no need. No, no one is expected to go after the other. If your religion is good, if my religion is good, then we show the love to each other. I've lived with people from different religions before. I would not even know. When you were given birth to what religion did you came in with? No religion. No religion. Yes. Were you coming with a pant that they wrote Christian Saying, Islam, uh, or, or, uh, or Judaism, or Buddhism, or Free, free, or free thinker, or nothing? That we is to explain one. to you this, please. Especially those of you that are siding, oh, Palestine, uh, Israel. No. Don't form that league of jokers. We are not to support any of them. Please stay out of their business state clearly state clearly the fact that both are human beings because if you really trace uh, palestine and israel you will discover that they are all from the same father so 
is the same father that brought up these two people. But somehow along the line, we have allowed religiosity. We have allowed the, the most deadly weapon on earth, religion, to cover our eyes in sending us um, against each, in set, setting us against each other. Oh, he's not a Christian, he's a Muslim, so he's, a, he's my enemy. He's not a Christian, he's an Abalist, he's, he's, he's a Shango worshiper, he's a Buddhist, uh, so he's my enemy. No, please. Human being first before religion. Human being right. first what? before before the, the race they belong to. Human being first before oh is African, is American, is he is a Chinese, is this please let us desist because we are just looking at uh, religion now. A lot of things have been used to demarcate between the real humans on earth, the good humans. I know that some people some persons are not real humans. Uh, that's why the fact that you see them on earth, it doesn't mean that they are real humans. Some of them are like uh, tomato formations. They are from like mosquitoes. In character, they come, they suck blood with the way they talk. Because as little as what this, uh, will I call him young man? As little as, I'm man. calling him young man because he's not he's baby, not he's like not mature. As little as what this young man has done, it could cause trouble. In my own country, yes, as because far back have... as in the north, it caused trouble yes. there. And once and... the trouble is incited, the, uh, you know, the, the thing is, most uneducated persons they'll just say, yeah, This it's, one is fighting against you, yeah. Just, uh, the, the, just... the Christians are calling it mm -hmm. no, and that no. is that's why we say peace in. A, a, a country or in a spot in the world is peace all over the world. Trouble in, in a spot or in a country is trouble all over. And that is why our heart goes to Israel and Palestine, Palestine. at this time that uh, we pray that there will be a form of total relief and the end to this war, even to that in Ukraine, to that in Sudan, because uh, war in any way, in any part of the world. It's war everywhere. It's war everywhere. And, we, we and you know, the, fun, the painful thing, not funnest now, the painful thing is that if you really look at the, the way the thing is going, it's like there are some group of persons that are trying to incite global war. Are they not? They you? don't want peace. They want problems. Are they not your clientele? Mr. Sector's client, if you want to go there, because this video, I wanted to be serious. Because Mr. Sector actually offended me before I came on set, wow. on this set. Yes, that is why wow. I have to say it on this video. I don't want to, he, he told me. Whoa, whoa, that's, that's heavy. <laughs> that is very so heavy. In, in that case, I'm going to buy you shawarma. <laughs> Which shawarma? You see how to, you see how to resolve conflict. So, instead of looking at the area that you do not agree with other people's religion, Look at the area in which you agree. Look at because life, life is meant to be enjoyed, and you cannot enjoy it alone. Imagine if I'm the only one in this studio; it will just be so uninteresting. The, the, but, the other day, uh, there was a challenge somewhere where I was. A house was almost getting burnt where I was, as in. Then I, I met a, a Muslim Alaja, so beautiful, so yeah. welcoming, so charming. We started discussing, she told me some things. As we were about partying, she, she collected my number. I collected as she said, oh, so you, ah, no, no, it was really, even my husband, I said, I really love that Alaja, I really love her from my she heart. She was really like that. Yes, and she's not from my religion, so it what is it? What is religion? religion? There is no religion, it's all about humans. Red blood cells flowing through all of us. And you know, and you know what? The day the whole world will wake up to the trick being pulled by likely these politicians, the one percent that want to have dominance of the world, the day we get our brain open to discover that they have been playing us against each other using this stupid weapon called religion. They are using us to do kalukale. <laughs> <laughs> so they are using us to play game of chess, game of thrones, you know, against each other. The more, the fast we understand the fact that we should not demarcate, destroy, decapitate our life because of that thing that is no, called no, religion. No. But to see every human being as special, yes. you can see me now. I'm very handsome, intelligent, sweet. <laughs> Regardless so, of my color, you, might, you might you might be white, 
nobody is even white. You might be lighter in skin, I might be darker in skin. That doesn't mean that my blood cells. Yeah, see, is it's the spice of life. Yeah. Every ingredient makes up the soup that you're eating. Oh, like here in Africa, we have delicious African dishes, oh. as in different things. When you see the peri, my daughter will say peri with <laughs> you. And you see for more, hmm. and you see uh, uh, different uh, African leaves as I'm in vegetables. Uh, you see, di ah, I'm we, we have coconut that we use in some uh, what's it called Igbo soups. And when this the, the, the delicacy is placed on the table, oh. for you, that's what makes that thing special. My so that's who we are in mm. the world. Don't say this one is a red, this one, this mm. one is black, this one, this one is uh, yeah. uh, people of race. Of color. Not no, please. We are making a special plea, especially at this time. People's life are going for this. This is for those 31 people. People's life, life mm -hmm. are going for yeah. this. And this man now came out in the heat of such a thing like this. Over there, we will go by. For you, Vanessa, what he just did there? Oh, be that go try in the northern part of Nigeria. And that is what I want to say. But Toba was in Nigeria, but oh my Joe no me. Yeah, they don't burn it. He will not finish that statement. statement. Whoa. He will yes. just see himself in front of God saying, I, I was in the street of uh <laughs> okay, so this is it. Uh, this is a video that we just come out to quickly do because we just saw this and it's really touching. So and I really want to say kudos to the young man that was talking yes. to. No, that guy, was that really Muslim cool. guy was uh, cool. You, you are the best. Muslim. You are the best. You, you, are, you have just sold, you have sold your religion to Ross based on the character you display. Yes. You don't need to preach your religion, yes. but you lead the calm life. You were even telling the, the, Please, the away joker away. that uh, you, do, you do not understand English. You are, the guy was trying to calm down the situation. I, the guy was saying, I do not understand him. I love the way he handled it. And he made sure that he filmed, uh, as in he recorded the stupidity in a guy that is supposed to be having wisdom. And there's a, there's a uh, there's a slogan in that, there's an adage in my part of the world where I come from. They said, Ibi taba fi ogmosi, taba debe, ibi taba rupa matiri ogmosi, taba debe taba ri ogmosi, omanya nileni. Meaning of that is that wherever we thought we are going to find wisdom, when we get there and we can't find wisdom, this is usually a very surprising thing. Looking at that young man, one would have thought with the gray hair or whatever, there would have been wisdom there. But, but what he just displayed there was far below wisdom. <sighs> he needs to work on it. That's a lesson to us all. So, we are the Cetrus family. We are bringing joys and smiles from Africa. Remember that your joy is your strength. Yeah. And your strength is your life. Mm -hmm. And you don't get uh, strengthened or you don't increase your joy by demoralizing others. Life is a mirror. It's and don't let others demoralize you. Yes. Also because so many people, they have packages in their life. Yes, and they want to travel it to you. <laughs> they want to transfer it to you. <laughs> Do you know that? Me, life is a mirror. It's mm. whatever you present to it that it shows back to you. Yeah. So make sure you give joy. Like for example, by Pekana. She's, she's, joy she's is what we did. Mm. Joy is <laughs> joy is from Abu Ali Lore. Joy is from Now, what are you doing like Oh, this? sorry, continue. Okay. As <laughs> <laughs> Mm. My baby, she has forgotten her line. She's tripping for me. After how many years? Mm. Baby. <laughs> With that being said, we want to sign out now. Okay, <laughs> wrap it up. If you she man, she buy. Push it on. She man will be killing by. Do you know what she's saying? She's saying that she doesn't know why she just loves me. Ha! Wrong transcription. <laughs> Those are not your writing. Write it there, but it's a line that you just said. <laughs> If you know you're about comment below. <laughs> okay, so we want to say, uh, please make sure you keep your joy and your joy is your strength. It's from the Holy Spirit. And with this, we want to sign out, bringing joy from Africa. And you can join us on the 9th of December. We'll be taking this joy to the streets of yeah. Africa. Street in, of Lagos. Yes. What we're going to be doing is that we are going to be feeding about 1,000 plus persons that are going through challenges in Nigeria 
West Africa based on the, uh, the rising cost of food some persons have not been able to eat and the likes. You can imagine if somebody, somebody was able to eat, that's why he had the strength to and say rubbish there. But here we have some persons that are not able, able to, to eat. Uh, one one meal per day. So we want to go out to the street, spread the love. So please, instead of spreading hatred, kindly go outside your neighborhood, spread the love. But if you are here on our platform and you would like to support to sponsor one person's food, please, uh, the details are there on the screen. Just a dollar can do that. And if you're here in Nigeria in person, you want to join us yeah. in the distribution on that day, yeah. please just reach out to us on the numbers showing below. If you want to support us with any one dollar, two dollar, ten dollar, ten dollar, just show on the screen. So we really appreciate you. I want to say thank you to all that have been helping us. Let me quickly state this, please. Please, if you are in Nigeria, especially if you are in Lagos, we are begging you because of the crowd that we want to attend to. Please, kindly chat us up to support us as in to come over to help us in the food distribution. Because where we are going to huh, is a very, very, very massive place and we need more hands to join us so that we can distribute the food stuff on time and get out there before it becomes more than what we can handle because we are talking about a place that have thousands of people, people. and we just have some little, little to amount share. to share. Okay, and so with that we wrap up. Yes, so we come away in the next time, in the next video. Keep your chat. In the next time. Hmm. In Before we come your way the next time in the next video, thank you. Mm. Catch you. Love you. Bye bye. And please don't forget the joy therapy. If you have your spouse beside you, grab her, hug her tight, let emotions be ringing in heaven. On bar and on more. Then, if you are not married, please look for the nearest transformer. Hold it! Oh, oh, companion.